Albany welcoming hundreds of interested businessmen and women to a Cannabis Insiders Conference today. News 10's Michaela Singleton explaining organizers and attendees hope that well-educated entrepreneurs can help break the stigma surrounding recreational marijuana. Those looking to get into the recreational marijuana industry say they're tired of being looked at like lazy stoners who can't contribute to society. We've been uh, trying to like show cannabis and cannabis users in a different light, a more positive light as entrepreneurs, um, as business owners, and kind of get away from the criminality, especially when it comes to minorities. That's how you get people to not be afraid of it and not say like, you know, not in my backyard and things like that, right? And like that can really limit the full potential of this industry. More than 200 people filing into the Desmond Hotel Friday for a Cannabis Insiders Conference. Attendees looking to explore everything from the new conditional growing licenses to setting up marijuana bars and lounges, and they come with questions. What if I wanted to open up an independent medical pharmacy? We're so early into this that there are no rules set yet. Brittany Carbone says she used to be a personal trainer but couldn't balance her depression and anxiety. It just nobody wants a, uh, a zonked out, you know, stoned personal trainer, right? So I needed something that was workday friendly, that would help with my anxiety. That's how she started her CBD business, Tonic. Now she's speaking as a panelist, explaining things regulations and guidance may not teach you. What social media channels will allow you to advertise or what you can and cannot say um, to like get ads approved. Meanwhile, Mike Golden says he's been working to set up an on-site consumption lounge or bar, but adds as a black man looking to enter the recreational marijuana market, he's already felt the stigma. Looking for uh, locations, you know, sometimes once you uh, mentioned the caveat of can cannabis being in the picture, it you know, turns the conversation. He hopes those who wear items from his clothing brand, The Higher Calling, can be seen as hard-working entrepreneurs, law-abiding and tax-paying citizens. Hopefully just a normal thing. I need a joint will be like, uh, you know, I need a drink. Reporting in Albany, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.